Okay, here's my PID temperature controller. I put all the components inside of a ammo box from Harbor Freight. I'm running a 12 volt fan I'm using a 110 um, plug for it. Part, um, and then I've got a thermocoupler that connects to the barbecue pit and gives me temperature. As far as the plugs go, I basically check both ends of an extension cord. This is how I wired it up. So I've got my PID right here. I've got my 110 volt plug that goes into the wall. You're gonna send your hot and your white, which would be your neutral over here. Uh, that's gonna plug into the PID. Then you're gonna have red, which is a 12 volt um, hot and black, which is 12 volt negative going to the bottom of the um, solid state relay. You're also gonna take a leg off of your hot wire, send it to the top of your solid state relay. You're gonna take another leg, you're gonna send it to the female plug that you're gonna plug your component into. You're also gonna take a leg off of your um, plug, your white neutral that's coming from the wall. And you're gonna run that to the white neutral side of your female plug. So basically you got black coming off of your SSR, you got white coming off of your wall plug. You're gonna take your thermocoupler with negative and positive. That's gonna to go to your barbecue pit and it's gonna tell you the temperature. Uh, basically when it falls below temp, it's gonna turn the fan on, it's gonna stoke your fire. Uh, I'm using it for barbecue, you can use it for beer brewing, you can use it for anything else that you're gonna temperature control. Um, basically what happens is when the PID falls below the set temperature, it sends a 12 volt signal. 12 volt signal goes to the SSR. SSR trips the relay, which sends power to your female plug and turns on your component. I'm gonna open up the lid to bring the temperature down and make the fan turn on. Now the fans feeding the fire and bringing the temperature right back up. It gets back up to temp. The fan will kick right off. I'm using my Weber eye grill thermometer to monitor the heat, and then it also sends me an alert when it goes below temp. When it gets down to 220, I usually need to go put more wood on the fire. 295, 296, down there, reading right about the same, 295, 294. So the PID and the Weber eye grill, been about a degree from each other, but you know, they're also a little ways from each other, so they could be getting a different reading. So I drilled a hole down there um, using a step drill bit. The um, pipe is an ID of three quarter inch and the OD was a little over an inch. I had a, only had a 12 volt drill so it took me a couple batteries to drill that out. Got the fan, it just hangs there off of the six inch pipe. Um, get very little heat at the fan port. Uh, it ran, I don't know, five hours this weekend. Worked just fine.